If your goal is to get your WordPress site to the top of search engines, this video is for you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Quran from Life Marketing, the digital marketing agency that helps small businesses grow. And today I'm going over eight WordPress plugins that can help you improve your SEO and create the perfect SEO setup for any WordPress site. But before I get started, Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss out on any of our weekly digital marketing videos like this one. All right, let's jump right in. There's a wide variety of factors that Google uses to determine your SEO rank. In fact, there are hundreds of them. Some of the most important are mobile friendliness, site speed, user experience, structured markups, and on-page SEO. So how can someone with no SEO experience manage all of these factors on their own, especially to make sure that their site is competitive in the SEO rankings. Here's the answer. You're gonna to wanna to use the eight plugins I'm sharing with you in this video, because when you do, you'll be able to rank higher on search engines like Google. But before we really dive into the best plugins to use with the WordPress site, let me first define what a WordPress plugin is since WordPress offers over 58,000 of them. You see, a WordPress plugin is a piece of code that plugs into your existing WordPress site, which either extends the current functionality of the site or offers a new functionality entirely. You can think of plugins like performance parts for a sports car. The car comes from a factory fully functional and ready to drive, but you can add performance parts that can get you added speed, handling, and downforce. And that same concept applies to WordPress plugins. With that being said, WordPress provides you with enough features to create a fully functional website with all of the features that comes equipped out of the box. However, in order to get the most out of your WordPress site and improve your SEO, you'll want to use plugins. The first plugin I'm going over is the Smush Image Compression and Optimization plugin. When you're creating pages for your site, it's common practice to add relevant images to that page. We also know that one of the key factors Google looks at to rank your site is load speed. And believe it or not, image size greatly affects how quickly a given page will load, which depends on the size of the image. Now, with the Smush Image Compression plugin, you can decrease the size of the images you want to use without sacrificing quality. Now, don't get me wrong. When I say size, I mean the image's server size not the actual dimensions of your image, even though that plays a factor as well. But by compressing the image, you reduce the time the server needs to download that image and therefore increases the speed of the page. Even when you compress images on your website, it still takes time for them to load. That's why the next plugin I recommend is A3 Lazy Load. If you have multiple images on your web page, you don't want all of those images to load at once as soon as the user goes to that page. I'm not crazy, here's why. It takes quite a bit of time for every single image on your page to load, which if that takes a long time, it hurts your site speed, your user experience, and therefore your SEO rankings. What A3 Lazy Load does is it allows your pictures to load as a user scrolls through your web page, and even allows you to select exactly which types of images and videos you want to happen and when. By doing this, the web page will load much faster and it will still provide users with a great user experience because they won't miss out on any of the visuals you post. Images will load as they scroll down the page. And not only does this benefit your users, but search engines as well because they prefer it. Now, the next plugin I want you to use is W3 Total Cache, another plugin that helps with site load times. Now, why all the plugins for load time? Well, load time has become even more important now that more and more people are using mobile devices to surf the web. Now, you might be thinking, they just came out with 5G technology, I'll get the fastest load times around. Why do I have to focus on load times? Internet speed is a common misconception because load times may not be related to connection issues since many factors determine your site's load speed. Because of this, users that have fast connections can't improve your site speed, but the W3 Total Cache plugin definitely can. I mean, the plugin allows you to connect with CDNs, it makes better use of your service resources, and they have a caching plugin built in, which most hosting providers don't, 
unless they're one of the really, really good ones. All of the things that helps your site's load time, which satisfies two factors Google uses to rank your site. The first one is obvious, site speed. The other factor though is user experience, since site speed greatly affects whether a user will have a positive or a negative experience when browsing your site. Here's a fun fact for you. 37% of visitors bounce from a site when it takes over five seconds to load, and 70% of customers say site speed impacts their purchasing decisions. So site speed is important. The next plugin you should use is Security Security. This plugin has to do with the security, which you may be thinking, you didn't mention that as an SEO factor earlier in the video. You're completely right, but security is more important to your site's SEO than you may think. Ponder this, if your website ever gets hacked, you can lose a drastic amount of traffic and your rankings will plummet. Once this happens, it's extremely difficult to make a full recovery. And if you do, it takes at least a couple of months and maybe even a year to do so. Now, security is not guaranteed to stop your site from getting hacked, but it definitely helps and add an extra layer of protection, which is worth it. Security will scan your website to ensure that there's no suspicious activity. They even offer a firewall if you opt for the premium membership. It's always best to err on the side of caution when it comes to your website security, and security can definitely help with that. Now, the next plugin you have to use for your WordPress site is called Yoast SEO. Yoast SEO is one of my favorites, as it not only helps you with page optimization by controlling things like your meta tags and your title tags, but it also helps you with content creation. By using SEO, you improve your load times by managing data, and it also gives you control over your site's breadcrumbs and even will create sitemaps for you. SEO Yoast provides you with almost everything you need to make your WordPress site SEO friendly. Now, WordPress is very SEO friendly right out the gate, but this plugin provides the missing pieces to truly optimize for results. Google is now more competitive than it was previously in the past, and thus it's harder to rank higher if you only follow a few of the SEO practices. I mean, at this point, Google wants you to do everything absolutely perfectly. And SEO Yoast allows you to string together all of the SEO efforts into one plugin and execute those perfectly so you can blast off into higher SEO rankings. The sixth plugin you should be using for your WordPress site is AMP for WordPress. This plugin helps you with mobile friendliness. In today's ever-growing digital world, having your site optimized for mobile is key for improving your SEO rankings as well as providing a great user experience. In fact, in the US, 63% of Google visitors are from mobile devices. So what does AMP for WordPress actually do for your site's mobile friendliness? Well, I got a good answer. AMP for WordPress accelerates the speed at which your pages load on mobile devices by leveraging Google's AMP framework so that text-based articles load extremely fast. An added perk of this plugin is that it is compatible with the Yoast SEO. So if you are following along and adding all of the plugins I've mentioned to your WordPress site, this one will work seamlessly with them. The seventh plugin I'd recommend using for your WordPress site is really simple SSL. First, let's go over what SSL even is. SSL stands for Secure Socket Slayer, and they are cryptographic protocols designed to provide communication security over computer network. That was a lot, so let me simplify. SSL is used to keep sensitive information sent across the internet encrypted so that only the intended recipient can access that information, AKA it protects you from hackers stealing things like credit card information from your site and other information, which is extremely important because when you send information on the internet, it is passed to computer to computer until it finally reaches the destination server. Take a look, right? Most of the top sites in the world, especially e-commerce sites, use SSL to protect data. And because of this, an SSL is pretty much a prerequisite for ranking at this point. Now, really simple SSL helps you walk through the steps of everything you have to do in order to use SSL for your website. Because when you don't have it, browsers make it very clear to your users that your site isn't secure. This will cause the user to bounce most of the time, which will definitely hurt your SEO rankings. With the help of this plugin and the security that SSO provides, your site will not only be safer, but will ultimately rank higher. The last plugin you should use with your WordPress site is all-in-one schema rich snippets. First, let's talk about what a snippet is and what the difference is between a regular snippet 
and a rich snippet. So in the world of search engines, a snippet is basically a short summary of your page. It provides users performing a search with detailed information they need to know about your website. Now, a rich snippet is much more detailed than a regular snippet, as they include everything a regular snippet does, but also includes things like star ratings, photos, price, availability of products, and a whole lot more. And sites that have rich snippets are much more likely to be viewed than those that only have regular snippets. Just take a look at the difference here. Which one of these two sites would you click on? For me, I would click on the one at the bottom. But why? That's because the star rating indicates that people have actually tried and enjoyed the chocolate cake recipe. And judging by the star rating, I might have to try it. Hopefully that cake is as rich as a snippet. But why is your website being clicked on and the search engines actually important? Well, that's because click-through rate, the amount of time your website shows up in search engines and is clicked on is actually a Google ranking factor. So if you can get more people to click on your website when it shows up, as opposed to another competitor's, that will help boost your SEO rankings. As you may have already guessed, all-in-one schema rich snippets allow you to leverage rich snippets for your WordPress site. Now, some people will go a little overboard and say, I'm gonna use as much schema markup as possible and often use phrases that aren't related to their website, but I would advise against that. Now, we're talking a lot about schema markup. What is it? Schema markup is a code that is placed on your website to help search engines provide more information results for users. When you use too much of this and include schema markup that is unrelated to what your website actually offers, your SEO rankings will drop because this is frowned upon by search engines. So when you're using all-in-one schema rich snippets, don't try and cheat the system. Do it the smart way and use schema markup that is actually relevant to your website. There you have it, eight plugins to help you increase your SEO rankings over time. If you haven't used any of these plugins before, buckle up because your site's rankings and traffic are about to go to the moon. Leave us a comment below if you have any questions on WordPress plugins or WordPress in general. Now, be sure to give this video a like if you found the information valuable and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the weekly digital marketing videos we are putting out. I'm Karan from Life Marketing. Until next time.